pretty much like cross yeah no nah, it's like you know when you have a certain expectation or a certain um you know requirement for not only yourself but even the people who watch you when they want to see you reach a certain level you can't be satisfied with certain type of performances and um that's how i felt about last night and a lot of my other performances you know you got the win but you know it's a lot more you can do better and you know when you climb those ranks those little mistakes that you made that weren't as much of a problem in the fight those guys that that are better and better at the top of the top of the game they're going to capitalize on those mistakes so um yeah no i definitely want to get back in the gym as soon as possible well i mean obviously it was a smaller stage than what you're used to but then again you kind of like you're used to being in the big stage but not that the seats ain't really packed this time you know the seats was packed a lot of people were there to see you i'm sure it was um, nice you know, it ain't nothing but a one hour trip from home so a lot of people came from home um had a lot of family come from out of town um so it was a very nice experience uh you know it was, it was a little bit more laid back because like you said it wasn't like one of the bigger cars like i'm used to being on so um, I enjoyed it. Um, uh, the Maryland Commission is nice, too, for all my fighters. Um, I know when th that way in day, y'all be trying to get it out the way. You ever fight in Maryland? Maryland Commission is on time. They say your way is at one time. It's going to be at that time, man. So, um, yeah, no, nah, that, that, was, that was the enjoyable part as a fighter for me. But, um yeah it, it was it was a definitely a great experience got to, yeah to eat Thanks. and rehydrate as soon as possible that's what's up um, um, um when will we see get you back, back in the, the ring, ring as soon as possible um you know i was of course i'm taking today off i'll be back in the gym tomorrow um hopefully we get a date for something like maybe early october you know uh, my thing is the sooner the better you know i'm a young fighter um, this was my third fight for this year. Um, I want to fight two more times this year to give me five fights in total. So, um, yeah, no, I just want to just want to keep it going. Right, right. Um, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. We get to see you in October. Hopefully, it's on that tank card. You know that. Yeah, that's probably what it's gonna likely, be. Who you knows, know, right? um, <laughs> didn't really get a chance to talk recently. But last time I talked to him, he definitely said he would be fighting before the end of 2023. So, yeah, getting back in there on one of his cars would be real nice, too. So, tell me, when are you getting back into the ring? Uh, I mean, getting back into the gym, what, like uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow, like, what's your you know, we're just getting like? back in there. Um, I, I really just want to, um, you know, be active, get in there, make sure I get my daily routine in. Nothing too crazy. Um, I may or may not spar this week. Um, yeah, no, just getting back to, just getting back in the swing of things. Right. Oh, uh, like who did you work uh, with? It was a lot of in-house work uh, for fight. this camp. You know, getting ready for this one. We got a a lot of young pros, uh, or or amateurs that are about to be pro, in my gym. So it was a lot of that work. Um. So more, more, more or less, you know, same old guy, just basically keeping me sharp for real, for real. Um, they would swap out every other round, so I would get a nice amount of rounds, getting good rounds. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, man, what's um, here, so talk to me, man. Um, there's been a lot of good fights in between this time. Um, you know, what would you think about, um, you know, talking about some of these fights that just happened? I mean, we just had Inoue and um, Stephen Fulton. Um, what did you think about, uh, what was your reaction um, in, was, in that fight? A lot of these fights have been shockers, in my opinion. I did not expect that fight to go that way. I actually, I thought Inoue would put up a great fight. Like, it would be a tough fight, but I thought Stephen Fulton would pull it out in a close decision. But, you know, of course, that didn't happen. Um, you know, most, you know, congratulations to anyway, but, um, also Stephen Fall, he dared to be great. You know, he went to, he went to his, his home, home country and, 
and he, he went out there to fight, and um, not a lot of guys will do that, and he did it as a champion. So, um, you know, big ups to him, and he'll he'll definitely be a champion again soon, I'm sure of it. And um, as far as the Earl Spence Terrence Crawford fight, because I know that's where you were going next, um, I didn't see that one coming either. I was definitely pulling. I was pulling for Crawford. I mean, not for Crawford. I was pulling for Spence on that one. Um, I definitely knew that Crawford would come in there and, you know, be ready to fight. Both guys be ready to fight. And um, I told people more than likely this wouldn't go to a decision. Somebody's going to go get knocked out. I just didn't I just didn't think that it would be um, Earl Spence. So, um, yeah, that's that. Hopefully they run it back at 54. You know, I don't think Earl should come back down to 47. I, don't, I think he's just – his time at that weight class is up, but they run it back at 54. I'm definitely pulling for Earl to, to get that one. Now, when you mean by pulling, I mean, I know he's one of your favorite fighters, um, but do you believe uh, yes, that it would be a, it'll be a difference? Um, because, you know, of course, Earl's a, he's a game fighter. He's a dog. He lost the fight. He let it be known, you know, Terrence was just a better man that night. But um, I honestly think at 54, it'll be a much different fight. Mm. Mm. What did you, did you see something different in Earl? I mean, I watched the fight again yesterday. I mean, did you see something different in, in that fight that you haven't really seen previously? Or do you believe that was Terrence that was bringing that, that side yeah, no, of Earl out? I don't take anything from what Terrence did in that fight. But I definitely do think it was something a little bit off with Earl. Even after rewatching the fight, I, in the rewatch, I definitely still gave Earl the first round. But he definitely didn't look like himself in the first round. It was more of a feel-out round. And if I had to give it to someone, I gave it to Earl. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, the first round. No, Jay, what's up, bro? Man, you love was good, man. I bet. You back? What's up, my baby? Jalil. Good, Jay. How you, What's man? Good? I, I, you good? Hey, uh, congratulations. A good, another Definitely great not. performance. I appreciate it, bro. Come on, man. You know how we do this. We've been doing this shit since you was a baby, nigga. Yeah, facts. Facts, man. Real, since you was a baby, nigga. Yeah. No, nah, for real. Hey, this 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 one this one of my favorite fighters coming up, man. Jalil, one of the most humble young men coming up in this game. Not only that, bro, come from a great foundation. His brother Rob, them, them, my, hey, I was watching the videos today with baby. Hell yeah. Mm. What's, what's your favorite he's a part of this game? Fighter, jab, inside, outside, whatever you do, you can punch. Motherfucker got a good arsenal of punches, very sound, IQ high. You know, you gotta remember this motherfucker been boxing Javante, all the niggas for years as a baby. A young nigga coming up. Full, I'm talking about. Motherfuckers, they bringing him in. Hey, we need this, LL. I know. I seen it firsthand. So, you know what I'm saying? The the future is bright for my boy. Yeah, I've been following for, for quite some time now. And then you already know, once you get the co-sign from Floyd, everybody but, but, be like, what? For real, like, <laughs> boy, Jaleel, you might have been like 10, 8. Yeah, when we had first met. I've yeah. been watching them since then. Like, mm. well, I'm talking about good looking, fam. Mm. Um, I'm talking about since back in the day, back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. And also, congratulations on your win uh, yesterday, too, Jay. Um, it was good. It was nice to see. You know, it was some good boxing yesterday. You know what I'm saying? It was like everybody showed heart. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, showed grit. Both of the opponents from, you know, Heather Hardy. To Nate, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We all know what they bring. Uh, you know, yeah. sometimes when you take a beating like that, you know, sometimes people could just really enjoy the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the whole art. Yeah, 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 I feel like all, all what's going with boxing right now is in the right direction. Hey, Jay, y'all definitely boxing turning. Great place right y'all turning Jake into a complete fighter, bro. Say that one more time, y'all live. Y'all are turning Jake into a complete fighter. Bro, we just taking the one step at a time. We had to go back. We had yeah, to go fair, backwards to go fair. forward. You know how that goes. Yeah, no, this is a part of the game. But y'all yeah. definitely turning that man into a complete fighter because I'll man, be I the appreciate first. it. 
I'll be the first to tell you, when he came into boxing, I was a part of the people that said he's ruining the sport. Yeah. But slowly but surely, he's turned into a real fighter, and I can I can see him doing something with this. You know, more than just, just the celebrity stuff. We just going to keep going, man. He's going to keep getting better. Y'all seen glimpses of some good shit. This is really our first camp with Jake, with us, like real motherfuckers that know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So now he's just getting better, bro. He really fell in love. He's learning what IQ is. You feel me? A lot of these niggas can fight. They just know how to be tough, go for it, throw punches, and fight. But setups, trick bag shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers know, you know what I'm saying? Playing chess out there, that's a different type of, you know what I mean? That's a different type of boxing, and he's learning that. You know what I mean? Under them lights, he learning under the lights, though. You yeah. feel me? We're putting the work into the gym, and he got to do it under the light. And that's a big moment for him. But it, but the motherfucker doing it, so we can't be mad at it, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%. You know what I'm saying? Each fight, he shows yeah. something different, a different element. Obviously, from the last loss that he had with Tommy Fury, he showed that he could fight in the yep. back foot and use his range. This time around, yeah. you know, he kept it in the inside. You know, um, just wanted to f figure out what Nate was all about. And um, it's just, you go back to the drawing board and you figure it out again and figure out how to become that hunter. No, Nate is tough. That is a tough motherfucker. But not only that, he crafty. He, you can tell he's been boxing with some motherfuckers for a long time. Yeah. Well, he's a yeah. fighter. And, and, he's a real and, and, fighter, bro, like, though. I seen shit where you just don't hit that. Yeah, he'll come for a fighter, a little bit careless, but you don't really hit him clean. He know how to take the, the force off a punch. He know how to do that shit. You know what yeah. I mean? So he, he, rolled, he, rolled with him, he rolled with him cool. Yeah, he's a crafty fighter. And then the motherfucker was boxing, then coming for it, pawn. He was he was faking, he was playing possum. He was doing a lot of little shit, and you could tell he's really been in there with some motherfuckers. So that was good, man.